What's going on people? Welcome to another video. Now today's going to be a bit of a special one. It's not going to be a day in the life as you've seen the past three weeks. It's going to be two days in the life. Uh, so you're probably wondering, why am I sitting here and not in the studio? Well, I never get to sit here. The house is really cold and I just lit up the fireplace. Which Tarzan just loves. He sleeps in front of the fireplace. So cute. Now, if you've been watching the vlogs, you know that I have a show in Amsterdam in a week from now at ADE, playing alongside a bunch of crazy artists. But I just started preparing my set. Now, if you want to know specifically how I prepare my sets, I suggest you go back to the US tour vlogs. There's an entire vlog there just dedicated to how I prepare my sets in Serato and Record Boss. Now, I thought of something very interesting today when prepping my set. And essentially, I'm playing a 40 minute set at prime time at the event. Now, here are some of my thoughts when it comes to that set. One, do I play only my own music since I'm only playing 40 minutes? Two, how vocal do I go? Because I have my own vocals on every track and I think I wanna promote that as much as possible so I'm not just like the EDM DJ, but I'm, I'm viewed more as like an artist because I also do vocals so I can rap and sing live on my tracks. And three is something that I've already decided upon, but it is do I play record box like USB or do I play Servado? And I've chosen to go with record box since it's only a 40 minute set. Now, if you know me, you know I used to DJ on Servado. I've been a big Servado DJ for many years and I'm super invested in Servado. I love Servado. It enables me to scratch live and stuff, which is super dope. But when I'm only playing 40 minutes, at night, it doesn't make sense to set up the laptop and everything just to play a 40 minute set with like 20 transitions. So I'm going for record box with USBs. Now, number one is super hard for me because which songs do I actually choose that will fit into the set, fit into my current sound, but also perform well live. I know I gotta play my big hits or my most streamed tracks, which are Arena and Right Now. But besides that, I'm also playing crowd favorites such as The Pit and Firestarter. But I'm, I gotta figure out what I'm exactly doing with this set. It's not like I'm a house DJ staying at 126 BPM my entire set, just vibing. I'm doing a lot of tempo switches. I have a lot of songs in 75 or 150 BPM. I have a lot of tracks at 100. I have a lot of tracks at 130-ish, 140. So I really gotta figure out how to structure a set to make the energy and the transitions between BPMs feel right. And that's one of the biggest challenges I always face when doing DJ sets. Because for example, if I were to go from a track that is 160 BPM, do a transition down to a track that's 140, it would feel super slow. So you gotta go the other way around, or you gotta really be clever about how you do that transition. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. Now I'm basing my set off what worked well in the US tour set that I played earlier this year. Essentially, I know what transitions work well and stuff like that. So I'm gonna see if I can incorporate some of that. But with that being said, I'm gonna keep working here. I'm heading to the gym and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hold up, let, let me hit the gym real quick. Yeah, boy, we back in the gym doing a push session. You can see my workout on the left. Did some bench press, did some shoulder presses, did a kneeling just to challenge my balance, stability and all that. Then I moved into doing some lateral races. I'm doing John Meadow style, so heavy in the bottom and light at the top range of motion. Love this superset right here. Then I moved into some accessory work. I'm doing like a high to low um, single arm cable chest fly or whatever you want to call it because I lack the lower portion of my chest. Here you see me chatting it up with a buddy, <laughs> doing some shrugs, looking absolutely massive here, doing some push ups just as a finisher, doing some weighted carries and some mobility work in the rings just to finish off the workout. That's it. Baby, I'm a son on the beat. What's going on, people? Today we have a question about 
intros and how to grab the audience attention. So it is Thursday, the next day, I'm in the studio, it's morning time, let's pull up the calendar. Now, what we got here, filming vlog, of course. <laughs> Just finished up working on some soundtrap samples as you just saw and i also just did element learn but i am doing a session with snuffs the entire day when we have these sessions we chill we hang out we're not only producers collabing we're also just friends hanging out so we like to cook some delicious food and today we are cooking a true neapolitan pizza that i've been preparing for three days now but yeah let's get this day started In the studio with Snuffs, Woo. the legend. Now, um, we've been working a couple of hours on a track that we're just finishing up now. We're not gonna show you in-depth production stuff yet, but we will give you guys a preview. Yes, uh, exhale part two. Exhale part two, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Same bounce and better sound design. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we have a lot more stuff we're working on. We do have a lot. Yeah, yeah. We, ha we have some stuff in the works, especially yeah. for next year. We, yeah, we will we will make next year. Yes. We will make next year. Yes. 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 But we're going to hop in the kitchen because it's pizza time very soon. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> 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 So that's pretty much the end of this vlog. When you have a session the entire day and you eat four pizzas split between two people, you feel very full and uncreative. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. A little bit of a shorter one, but I promise I'll be back with a lot of production tutorial typey stuff. Because I know a lot of you guys watching are producers as well. But I'm going to call it a night. I got a long day ahead of me tomorrow prepping for ADE. Catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.